section. In the book it explains how you can cut a flat net from a basic brick that you make here from separate pieces of card so that you put numbers across all the edges like 11 and 11 and 10 and 10. But here I've cut it in a really bad way for the reason that I've got many long sides that were cut. So what this does is to occupy a very large area of card with a lot of waste on it. It's not a good way to make a net. So what we need to do is to make it more compact. So how we do this is to bring the numbers together. So for example I've got 12 and 12. So I can just here separate 11 and 11, put 12 and 12 together. 5 is here. Well, 5 is now at the top, and I can move this around and join the 5s together. Here, 8 and 8 can now come together. So this is the net here that's beginning to grow, and this square there can fit on the bottom, one touching one. So this is a much more compact net than before, but it will still fold up to make the same box. And look, there's much less waste. It's a smaller net, it's stronger, and there's much less waste. So from this net, we can now go on to make a box like this, which that unfolds like that. And you can see that when we fold it back up, that it's much stronger than it would have been with lots of long edges cut. Now, three of the four edges are folded. So one, two, three, and the fourth one is cut. So it's a very compact, strong, perfect box. You cannot make it better than that.